today I'm going to be making some um, today I'm going to be making some uh, apple pie filling. Now what's so crazy about around here is um, you can buy people here you can buy So anyways, you can buy, um, what's crazy around here is you can buy, you can buy a bunch of different pie fillings, but you can't buy, um, you can buy a bunch of pie fillings, blueberry, cherry, a couple other ones out there, but you can't buy apple pie filling here. And I tried already on Lazada and Shopee and um, the other Chinese online account. So you can go ahead and buy a variety of different um, pie films, but you just can't buy that particular kind of here. Now obviously I did, uh, I get an F today for um, I went to the Friday market today and I bought some apples, but I get an F for checking on the quality of these apples. I kind of, I kind of quickly glanced at them and uh, didn't notice that some of them had. Uh, this one's actually looked pretty good, but um, a couple of these other ones had little worm bites marks in them. Obviously, I wasn't checking them very as close as I should have. Next time I go to the market, I'm going to check the quality of them a little bit better than the, what I did this last time. Now, the one thing I've noticed uh, with getting this, uh, um, buying the pre-made apple pie filling is usually it's a lot more tender and it's a lot sweeter than I typically make my apple pie filling. Now, I'm going to make mine a little bit taste uh, sweeter this time because I had a <laughs> my Thai friends complained that it wasn't sweet enough and unfortunately Thai people like their stuff a lot sweeter so I'm gonna to appease them I think I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna make sure to um, to make my apple pie feeling a little bit sweeter this time now I'm not making an apple pie today I'm actually making um apple turnovers. I made brownies and I made cookies already. I made a cake. And uh, let me tell you, I'm not making a cake again. It's just too much work. I'd rather go to the store and buy it than <laughs> to make it myself. Don't mind making the brownies. Don't mind making the cookies. A little bit more work making these apple turnovers, especially because I have to go to this extra step and make the pie filling or the apple filling. But um, Damn, this one has a big hole in it. Jesus, it goes all the way through. I gotta check to make sure there's no worm in there. Jesus.
Now, last time I couldn't find um, Golden Delicious apples. I couldn't find really baking apples, so I ended up using, um, I think I ended up using Red Delicious. And they turned out all right. Two tablespoons of water. Then I need about uh, two tablespoons of butter. Should be using a paring knife for this portion. I used to cut my apples a little bit bigger and then I realized I got to mush them if, if I later and plus it makes this cook a lot faster if I just cut them up in, in dice pieces instead from the get-go. So instead of keeping them in slices like this, I just cut them semi-small or ready to begin with. They end up cooking faster that way. Now I keep on saying I'm going to do this, but I never do it. I always say I'm going to make extra apple pie filling and freeze it. So that way the next time around I'm not doing this the day I need it. But uh, I don't know, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't done that yet. It's really on my to-do list and check it out, see if the quality is still there the next day. But um, I may do that next week actually, just test it out and then freeze it. Come back from Japan on a business trip and, and then see uh, uh, use it and then check out to see how what the quality is like.
let's open and see where the worm is. Bite there. I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's just dent, but I feel like he was in it. Now I'm going to go ahead and add about, um, I'll order, I'll start off with maybe a teaspoon of cinnamon first. I'm going to wait on the uh, one and a half, I'm going to order, uh, I'm going to put in about one tablespoon to four teaspoons of cornstarch, but I'll put that in last. And then um, I'll go ahead and add uh, some sugar, uh, Splenda to it. Um, I don't want to use some sugar today, so. We'll just do ahead, go ahead and do the Splenda. But let's go ahead and add this um, cinnamon. So about a teaspoon. And then what I'll do is um, start off with a little bit first. I can always add more. And then I'm gonna cheat a little bit instead of using real sugar. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use um, Splenda instead. So I've got everything added. I have had the water and the butter added. I just haven't added the um, I just haven't added the cornstarch, which I'll do a little bit later. I do have uh, Splenda in the uh, big old bag from Costco that I brought over here to Thailand, but I haven't opened it yet. <laughs> Maybe I should use it, open it, instead of just holding on to it like I'm saving it for some reason for other than that. But there you go. There's the big old bag of Splenda. Haven't bothered to open it yet. I don't know why I'm saving it for. But I am.
grab one more to feel. Uh -huh. So I'm going to add some cornstarch to this, but at the very end, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to find out, um, after I start cooking, I'm going to taste it. And depending on, depending on how sweet it is and how much cinnamon flavor there is, that will dictate if I add any more cinnamon and if I add any more sugar to it or Splenda to it. So as of right now, I just have the minimum amount of sugar sugar and cinnamon in there. I don't, I'm not a big fan of, I don't like things overpowered with cinnamon flavor, but I mean, these are apple turnovers, so you gotta be able to taste it. If you can't even taste the cinnamon, then uh, they're really not apple turnovers, right? So, so we'll go ahead and test that out. And uh, that's over here. So I'll go ahead and uh, see how it tastes in about 20 minutes here once it's done cooking a little bit. Trying to do a little bit of semblance of clean as I go here, guys. <laughs>
Check these out. Stir them around a bit. Looks pretty good. So let that cook for a little bit longer. Then I'll probably go ahead and add some cornstarch and I'll add uh, some extra cinnamon and Splenda as it needs it and go from there. So yesterday we went to go see a movie called Gran Turismo based off the video game. It's a it's loosely based off a real life story about a guy who plays video games and is able to win an opportunity um, to race in real life. And a friend of mine had saw the movie and he said, eh, I give it a 7 out of 10. And I think any movie that's 7 out of 10 is worth watching one time. I mean, I watch it on rental. I may never watch the movie again. But if someone says it's 7 out of 10, yeah, I might see it in the movie theater. Now, I was more excited to watch it in the theater myself because me being a gamer, having a PlayStation uh, 5, and you throw in the fact that uh, I played Gran Turismo myself, uh, it made sense for me to watch the movie, and I'll tell you, I thought I was pleasantly entertained. I was, I enjoyed the movie actually immensely. Um, now, I can tell you, I enjoyed the movie, and for me personally, on my level, I'd give it an 8 out of 10, or maybe a 7.5 out of 10. But a person who's not a gamer, who's not into car racing, yeah, I think a 7 rating is, is more than adequate. And where the rating should be uh, I don't want to give it anything less than a 7 because if you say 6.5 then it's like a movie like yeah you may not want to go see it at all but I think 7 watch it one time in a theater with great surround sound with a great big screen sitting in a nice uh, theater chair having some popcorn and enjoying the night out I think that's perfectly fine um, now me being a gamer and me having the game itself I'm sure once this movie comes out on rental I'll probably watch it again myself and, um, yeah, I thought it was uh, highly entertaining, and I definitely would watch it again. So add possibly some more sugar and possibly some more Splenda. What else is going on, guys? Um, not a whole heck of a lot. I got to go out to Japan. I gotta go out to Japan in about a week for a business trip. So, that's a little bit of work and pleasure. Spending a few extra days just in case. Um, I 
I want to go see something, so spend a few days on and off between the business trip to go do some stuff. came in. Didn't really like these clips because there was no really way to hang them on what I'm going to hang them on. But I can keep it here. It's perfectly fine. Bought these headphones for three bucks online and I'll tell you the box feels light I mean the stuff is in there right now but even with the headphones and all, all the packaging it still feels really really light now I gotta say I bought these two dollar headphones and they actually sound really good as long as you don't crank them all the way where you just hear a little bit of static uh, it's it actually sounded pretty darn good done let's go ahead and open this sucker up and see how it is I tell you, it's starting to, um, I'm actually pretty impressed. It kind of tastes like it's almost done.
guess what the next thing I need to buy on Lazada is? <laughs> yeah, this is hilarious that I'm using this sort of thing. Definitely doesn't need any more sweetness in there. Just to add a t touch of cinnamon more. And you know what? I don't think I'm gonna add any cornstarch to this. I mean, it's already pretty thick as it is. With what's in there. And then I bet you anything, by the time this cools, by the time this cools and I put it in the refrigerator and then I use it first thing tomorrow morning, I bet you the flavor will have changed a little bit too. And I'll touch it, touch up it touch up the um, uh, pie filling at that point and so I think for all intents and purposes I think we're pretty much done right now so I'm gonna let this thing cool and then I'll go ahead and um, come back tomorrow I think I've already done a video on uh, making apple turnovers the pinwheels but maybe I'll shoot it again and we'll chit chat a little bit with you guys well you guys have a good rest of your Friday and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye now.